Hello and welcome to my second tutorial, turning a Photoshop design into a working website. I'm sure many of you are quite confident with using Photoshop and can create really nice designs, but are not too sure about how to turn those designs into a website. You might not be too confident with using Dreamweaver, for example. I'm going to show you how to turn a simple Photoshop design into a very simple working website. I've provided you with a tutorial file so that you can follow along with me if you like. You can download this using the link in the description box. Let's get started with part one exporting the Photoshop design. Okay, I've created this simple web page design using Photoshop. I'm now going to show you how to turn this into a functioning web page. First thing we need is the rulers. There we go. Um, we're going to insert some guides which are going to help us draw what we call slices. Slices tell Photoshop which areas need to be exported as totally separate images. For example, each of these buttons need to be separate images and the main content area and the sidebar need to be separate images or text areas. So, to insert a guide we drag down from the ruler and there we go, we've got a guide. Drag across from the ruler. Got a guide at the side there. And a guide at the side there. We want one in between each button so that each button has a box around it. That one needs to go over ever so slightly. There we go. So now we can start drawing our slices click and hold here we want the slice tool let's zoom in to 400 percent and scroll up and just literally draw a slice to match the box we've just created like this there we go so we want one for each button Okay, right, zoom out, and we need to draw a big slice for the main content area, and one for the sidebar. Now, we need to edit the properties of the slices, particularly the buttons. To do this, we hold down here again and click on the Slice Select tool right click on the home button edit slice options so I'm going to give each of the buttons a name so I'm going to call this home underscore btn for home button and I'm going to say what it's going to link to so once we've actually finished and we've created each of the pages we're going to have four pages and the four buttons will link to those pages we can put in the links now in Photoshop so the home button will link to the index.html page. The about button will be called about underscore btn and link to about.html. Links will be called links underscore btn and link to links html oh, dot html. There you go and contact we contact underscore btn and contact dot html there we go now with the main content area we need to tell photoshop that this is going to contain text so we're going to edit slice options again the slice type is going to be no image and we can put some text in there it will just say what it is so I'm going to say this is the main content area I'm going to do the same to this no image this is the side bar however by default it will create a white background so to have the same background color we need to go to other use the eyedropper to just 
select the background color and press OK. So now we've finished the configuration we need to do. What we need to do now is export the web page. To export the web page we go to File, Save for Web and Devices. I recommend using JPEG and a quality of around 80 should be fine. Save I'm going to call it index, putting it in my Photoshop website folder. Make sure you've got HTML and images selected, and then save. There we go, we've done. If I go to that folder, open the index.html, there we go. So we've got each of the buttons, we've got the text in both of the areas we just defined. We're now going to move on to the next section creating the other pages using Dreamweaver. The first thing we need to do in Dreamweaver is define the site. So I'm going to go to site, new site, I'm going to call this Photoshop website, next browse to where it's stored, next if you haven't got any hosting or you don't have plan to put this on the web at the moment just change this to none and then done. Right, there we go, so your file should appear here. I'm going to double click on the index. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the title to my website. If I click on the very edge, I can change the alignment to center so the web, web page will appear in the middle of the screen. And I can also change this text if I wanted to. So, home latest news maybe can change the alignment to the top. Right. So that's the basic layout of the page set up. You can obviously change things like the font and all that sort of thing, that's up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this page. I'm going to save a copy of it and call this About. Okay, change this to About. Save it and then save another copy. Sorry and then call this links change the title to links save save as contact change this label to contact save now if I go back to index and preview this in Firefox okay you see it's appeared in the middle like I told it to and all of these pages now work Okay, so all you need to do now is go back into Dreamweaver and add your content to each page. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial useful. For more information, please visit my website arbennett.me.uk.